Hello. Look what I have. Helen Keller, Encouragement in the Dark. We've read Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, which today we will discuss the summary of Chapter 2. Let's pray before we begin. Father, we are so grateful just to be able to be connected and be listening um, this morning to our reading lesson. I pray that you help us learn, that you guide us and give us power and strength. In Jesus we pray, amen. So let's go ahead and turn to chapter 2. Chapter 2, we have here such a beautiful story where the teacher, Annie, arrives, right? So what we see in overview of chapter 2, we see that when Helen is almost seven years old, Annie, which is right here, Annie Sullivan, comes to help her learn. Helen is used to getting her way, so the first few months together are very difficult for both of them. Helen learns how to sit at the table, at the dinner table, eat with utensils, and dress herself. But Annie is determined to teach Ellen to understand words. This chapter describes El Helen's breakthrough to language at the water pump. Awesome. So that's an overview of chapter two. Now, chapter three is what I want you to read, which it gets even more interesting because they begin to teach her an awesome way to read and we did discuss this during zoom it's called braille see we have kids in school and they're all blind like a blind school and they're learning braille and that's what we are going to learn next reading class on wednesday i want us to have a braille activity i'm going to put up the alphabet in braille and you're going to write messages to me using braille Let's look chapter 3. It says in May 1888, Ellen was ready for a new challenge. Shortly before her 8th birthday, wow, before she turned 8, she went to Boston with Annie. Ah, oh, imagine a trip with your teacher. Awesome. They went to Annie's old school, the Perkins Institute. There, Ellen learned to read Braille. Oh, how awesome. I'm so happy for her because she can now learn how to read. And it's beautiful because now, you know, they have the Bible and Braille and they have books. Many authors have translated and have their books in Braille. So Braille is a form of writing. It was invented in France by a blind man named Louis Braille. That's where the name comes from, from the person who designed and created. It's patterns. Patterns of braised dots stand for each letter of the alphabet. Using the Braille system, blind people can feel the letters with their fingertips. With this wonderful alphabet, Helen learned to read. Look at her. She's learning. She's in school and she looks so happy. She's the happiest student in the world. Helen already loves words. She got excited. Now she loved the stories that words could tell. She read many, many books, and then using a special Braille typewriter, she wrote some stories of her own. Oh, look at her, a typewriter. That is so cool. There was so much that Helen could learn at the Perkins Institute. Soon, she, she and Annie began began to spend winters in Boston and summers at home in Alabama. When Helen was 10 years old, she met another teacher in Boston. Her name was Sarah Fuller. Sarah wanted to teach Helen how to speak. Oh, that's so beautiful. So 
no matter what problems she had, she's overcoming her blindness, her her death. She couldn't hear. And so now God has put people in her life to help her learn how to read, how to talk. And this is going to be a special hand language. And I would like us to learn hand language too, sign language. And I will upload the alphabet in sign language as well. So this is getting very interesting, boys and girls, because now Helen could speak only with her, for now she could speak with her fingers. She could talk only to people who understood special and language with Annie and they taught her this type of language sign language with her fingers but now also Sarah wanted to teach Ellen how to speak like actual sounds coming out of her mouth so I want you to continue reading what happens next as she's learning how to speak as she's beginning to speak she's going to learn step by step so enjoy the rest of chapter three if you haven't read the other chapters go ahead read chapter one and two this is a really beautiful book boys and girls because we're really getting into the life of this young lady of this girl helen keller and this is a biography boys and girls a biography a book um written a, all about one person one famous person in the Helen Keller. So for today's assignment, I want us to practice some writing. We already practiced some grammar, but now I want us to also write. So for writing, I want us to write down about choose a famous person, whoever you want. Choose a famous person, and I want you to write their biography. It's going to be short paragraphs, not a full length, long biography research paper but it's i posted the biography um that we have in our books a biography report like this and you your report will have three parts each of these sections will be a paragraph so the first part is the introduction so in the introduction i have a space here for introduction and that introduction, you tell who the person is and why the person is famous. Who did you pick? Why is he or she famous? That's your intro. And then number two, over here, two, you're going to talk about their childhood. Tell me about their childhood. Tell interesting and important events about the person's childhood. Tell about the person's interests as a child. And then their adulthood at the end. How were they as an adult? Tell about the person's accomplishments and jobs as an adult. Tell about the person's personal life. Like, did they marry? Did they have children? So today, do this report. Um, you have um, this time. Use as much time as you need to finish the report for today and your Bible as well. Turn them in, do a great job, and I can't wait to announce the art um, winner, the art project winner. Our office is staff is ready to look at your pictures and send and show me who they nominate, who they chose, first, second, and third place. So I hope you have a beautiful day today. Enjoy. And tomorrow, those of you who would like, at 10.30, we do have our Zoom. We will have our, our language arts reading time. And we will also have an awesome time with science. And um, we will be able to just learn together. We'll do math and science. And tomorrow we'll be reading and social studies. We'll have time. We'll practice either or days. But we will go over spelling, vocabulary, grammar, journals. We'll have more time um, to practice some more skills with you together. And so if you would like um, to join, it's going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10.30 in the morning. Hopefully, I could see you then. Have a good day. Bye.